have this cousin, and I hope she's not watching this as if, because she's about to get exposed. Today she's a big time lawyer, but back in the day she was a teenage girl with a big crush on Richard Grieco. Posters and everything. When Grieco took over for Johnny Depp on 21 Jump Street, she said, and I quote, it's about time that we got a real man for us women to watch. That's a quote from, at the time, a 14 year old woman. Well, cuz, here's your boy, Richard Grieco in Raiders of the Damned from American World Pictures. A mission into forbidden land to save the living from the living dead. In a post-apocalyptic wasteland, only one side will survive. Richard Grieco. Raiders of the Damned. I think this is the first zombie movie I've seen where zombies wanted to procreate. Don't see that every day. They even went into detail how they can make this happen. Yeah. Surprisingly, the inner workings of the sexual health of zombies isn't the worst part about this movie. I uh, know, sir. The worst part about this movie is everything about this movie. My cousin's boy, Richard Grieco, didn't seem to bother to read the script or was even remotely aware of what was going on in the movie he was making that week because almost nothing that came out of his mouth seemed at all relevant to anything going on in the movie. The good thing about this movie is that he was only in it for a minute but he was in it long enough to destroy it. I mean, it was bad already with the suspect special effects, crazy nonsensical storyline, and the notion of zombie love. But while the other unknown actors were doing their darndest to bring this garbage along, this nut was reading a script from another movie. What's really tragic is Johnny Depp has gone on to mega riches playing gay pirates, while Mr. Greco doesn't even get to make Z movies anymore and is stuck on reality TV. Somewhere, a big-time Wall Street lawyer is secretly weeping. Raiders of the Damned by Twist. <laughs>